What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to create a website easily on webflow.com. Webflow.com is a platform on which you can create websites easily and with powerful tools. And it is very easy to use so it is beginner friendly. First you'll need to go to the Webflow website that's webflow.com. Here you'll see the websites here and like some info and some examples of work on the website and if you want to get started you can go ahead and log in if you have already created an account on webflow and you can get start click on get started here to create an account or sign up so let's click on get started you can sign up with your email address or you can sign in or sign up sorry with google are you with your google account I'll go ahead and sign up with my email address and then enter my password. I've already signed up on Webflow, so I've entered my email and password. And once you enter your email and password, you are presented with this screen. You'll be asked by the website some questions, so you can go ahead and answer them. It will load up the Webflow, so give it like a minute or two, depending on the internet speed and the server capacity and then the Webflow website will open. It'll present you with like a quick tutorial. You can get started or you can exit. I uh, will exit the tutorial, okay. And it'll open your dashboard. So that's your main dashboard. As you can see here, it says dashboard. You have many options like the marketplace. You can learn here about the different techniques that you can use on Webflow and the resources that has the tutorials and help info and so on. And then your account settings. So if you click on it, you can go to your public profile, your account settings, your workspaces, updates, and you can sign out. And here under my workspace, you can create a new workspace or manage your workspaces and you can start creating a new website from here here on your dashboard you have many templates you choose from first you can create a site from scratch using the blank site uh, template or preset here however i find it easier if we can use a ready-made template you also have these starters like for portfolio business starter and store starter for your uh, e-commerce and these starters are not like templates however they have like ready-made uh, placeholders for your text and image that you can edit however if we scroll down a bit you can find many templates that you can choose from with images styles and background colors and text styles and fonts that you can choose from if you scroll down a bit you'll see here some free templates so you have four free templates here and they are categorized like devlink automotive and small business template you can click on view all to view all free templates here you can search for a certain template type like business portfolio store and so on and you can scroll down to view all the free templates and also they are categorized like business fashion retail learning fitness and so on so let's scroll down and choose a template just to show you how to edit it how easy it is to edit this template and create your own website let's say i like this one the chomp so it's a restaurant it's a template for a restaurant website you can click on it it'll open it'll give you like a brief details or description of this template you can click on preview in browser it'll open a new tab where you can view the template in real time and interact with the different buttons and options okay here it is you can scroll down to view the full website and as you can see the buttons here are interactive so you can click on them they'll open their respective like pages or options or pop-ups okay and you can interact with the uh, different site uh, like uh, components like home order company and so on you get the point so let's let's say we like this template so we'll close this tab and we will click on use for free you'll be asked here to name your site so let's name it 
our or first website click on create site it'll take a few moments and it will load up the template in the editor where you can edit all the elements or add new elements to create your website okay it is now loaded as you can see if we hover over any compartment or like element we can edit it so the so the header here that has the home order company if we click on it you can see here that we can edit the components so if we click on edit components here on the tab on the right if we click on home here we can edit all the settings like the positioning and the size the text si the size and width and so on and if we double click we can rename it to like highlight the texts and we type products let's change order let's double click on it highlight it and let's rename it to like contact now if we highlight it again so double click again and then highlight the text we can make it bold italic and change the like sub superscript and subscript add a link and so on so let's make it bold and italic okay looking good and from here we can edit the uh, element like settings or parameters so like we can uh, add a margin so we can increase the size of the margin here at the top and we can click on the margin at the bottom to increase the size make it bigger we can also change the font and color of these elements so if we scroll down a bit we'll see here typography where we can edit the font for these elements like let's say i like this one as you can see all the elements in the header or the compartment that we are now editing has changed let's edit the color let's make it like dark red or bright red okay looking good so, and you can make all kinds of edit and you can continue editing and once you are done like click outside of the box here and you can continue editing the other elements so let's scroll down we can also edit the images so if we click on the image here we can choose the size the edit the margins the display type and we can also add a new image or replace the image so if we click on this tab right here the element settings we can choose an image from our computer to replace this image and we can also click on style manager and view the settings and so on and the cool thing is that it gives you many views like a desktop view a tablet view a mobile landscape and portrait views and all the edits that you make are automatically updated on all the views here and you can resize the mobile view based on the size of the screen on your phone to fit multiple phones let's go back to the desktop view we can add elements here like add a section at the top and the good thing is that each option gives you like a visual representation of what it is so you'll know what it is and you can also add like buttons and link block and if you scroll down you can find typography you can add videos and so on from this components here option you can view the components and edit them you can view the navigator where you can select and navigate all the website sections of your website so the body the header here the content sections and so on from here you can view the pages of your website right now we are editing the home page however there are many pages for the website let's open the orders page as you can see it loads up here we can edit all the elements so the photos the buttons the text and so on and if we go to the cms you can view the cms collections you can view the logic and you can even view the user so you can add someone to help you editing the website so the uh, users here let's close it for now let's view the e-commerce options on the website since it is a food or restaurant website and and as you see it has products that you can add to cart to buy so we can view the products here and edit them 
we can view the categories and discounts, orders, subscriptions, and so on. We can also view the assets. We can view the different assets that are on our websites or on pages, and we can edit them, the pictures and the graphics and so on. We can go to apps, we can add apps, and we can go to settings and help and so on. And once you are happy with your edits, you can go ahead and share your website or you can publish it. And once you click on publish, it'll give you the option to like uh, a staging or a default like URL here that is free and you can even get a custom domain. However, you'll have to pay extra and you can open the advanced options and view them as well. So once you are happy, let's choose this default like URL and click on publish to selected domains. Okay, it says you must verify your email address first. However, once you do and verify it, you'll be able to publish your website after all the edits and it will be live on this URL.